हेलो फ्रेंड्स आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज पैरल इन सीरियल आउट शिफ्ट रजिस्टर विद असिंक्रोनस लोडिंग एंड इमीडिएट नेक्स्ट लेक्चर विल बी ऑन सिंक्रोनस लोडिंग सो व्हेन वी टॉक ऑफ असिंक्रोनस लोडिंग इन पैरल इन सीरियल आउट शिफ्ट रजिस्टर दैट मींस विल बी यूजिंग असिंक्रोनस स्पिनस नाउ असिंक्रोनस स्पिनस अवेलेबल इन अ डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप दे आर क्लियर एंड प्रीसेट पिन सो लोडिंग ऑफ द डेटा ऑन टू द फ्लिप फ्लॉप विल बी डन थ्रू clear pin and preset pin so whenever we are apply binary 0 to the clear pin output goes to 0 and whenever we apply binary 0 to the preset pin we get output as binary 1 in case of any flip flop and this operation that i explained just now is independent of the clock and this operation is not dependent upon the clock that's why we say this is asynchronous these are asynchronous pins and operation of these pins is also asynchronous it is independent of the clock clock is coming on to input side or not coming on to input side output data of the flip flop will be changed depending upon clear pin and preset pin preset pin always sets the data on the output side as equal to 1 as and when 0 is given to the preset pin and when 0 is given to the clear pin output of the flip flop goes to 0 so this is our basic understanding of how a flip flop work now this kind of working of the flip flop is used in parallel input serial out shift register so this terminal is used for the output and input we are loading parallelly in case we wish to load the data on output of each flip flop as binary 1 binary 1 here binary 1 here binary 1 here and binary 1 here in that particular case we do not require this additional hardware we can directly connect here 0 0 0 0 and that will make this output goes to 1 but in case i wish to load any arbitrary data on to the output of this flip flops arbitrary but through any method we wanted to load the data let let us say data to be loaded is 1 1 0 1 now to load this kind of data we require this additional hardware and this additional hardware is controlled by preset pin so whenever preset pin this is not preset this is present pin whenever present pin is equal to binary 1 then whatever is data at x4 pin will be made available here and this data will be made available here this data will be made available here and x1 data will be made available here at qa so let us understand step number 1 for this in order to start its functioning let clear is equal to 0 initially we want all the flip flops to be loaded with 0 0 right for that we are connecting this pin to ground initially for some fraction of time and all of them get 0 0 0 0 at the output now we are connecting this to vcc and we do not require functioning of the clear pin anymore right now this is connected to vcc clear functioning is not required now we are coming to preset pin this preset pin preset pin is connected through present so whenever present is equal to 1 so 1.1 .1 will be a zero here and zero present here means this will be converted to binary one so far this operation is independent of the clock we have not considered clock yet so this will be equal to 1 this is 1 this is 1 so this will be equal to zero here this will make it change to 1 this is 0 so this will be equal to 1 and hence this will stay at 0 if you get binary 1 at preset pin output will not change binary 1 binary 1 so this will be equal to 0 and this will be changed to 1 so 1 1 0 1 is the data loaded with each of the flip flop 1 1 0 1 and because this qa is connected to output and hence yo will be equal to 1 so this is so far we have done a synchronous loading of the data this loading of the data was independent of the clock clock was not applied now this is the first clock edge which is coming so this is zero clock at zero clock we have data 1 1 0 1 and output is 1 now next let us calculate now 
what is the data available at input of each flip flop so this is let us say this is always connected to zero so this is zero this will be one this will be one this will be zero now we very well know that what average data available at the input of each delay flip flop this being a transparent flip flop this data will be reflected on to the pin qd or this data will be reflected on to pin qc and this data will be reflected on to pin qb and so on with falling edge of the clock so data available here 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 it will be 0 1 1 0 so this will be 0 1 1 0 and hence this is 0 0 1 1 0 so 0 1 1 0 like this now second clock edge is come but before that let us calculate data available here is 1 or uh, this is 0 1 1 0 so this is 0 this is 1 this is 1 and this is 0 now again same let us calculate what is data available at input of each flip flop next 0 is come this is 0 already this is 1 already this is 1 already and this we are not bothered because we want to calculate data available at input of each flip flop because now this next clock number 2 falling edge is coming now whatever is the data available at qd at dd dc db and da pin it will be reflected onto the output side in case you understood this that how data is reflected onto the output side with falling edge of the clock please give a, a comment in the comment section now so this will be 0 0 1 1 1 and this will be like this now 0 0 1 1 and this will be 1 right so 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 and this will be 1 now third clock edge is about to come we need to calculate what is the data available at input of each flip flop so next is 0 this is 0 and this is qc is equal to 0 so this will be 0 this is 1 and this is 1 at the output side so we are not bothered about it but we want to calculate this as 0 0 0 1 now what is the output after this falling edge so this will be 0 0 0 1 so this will be equal to 1 like this right and after fourth clock edge 0 0 0 1 so this is 0 this is 0 this is also 0 so 0 0 0 0 so all flip flop input data is 0 0 0 0 what will happen at the fourth clock edge out will go to right that means we loaded data 1 1 0 1 that is x4 x3 x2 x1 1 1 0 1 was the data loaded and yo data we are getting is 1 1 1 0 1 1 so this is our least significant bit data and this is most significant bit data and here we are noting is that this is least significant bit which is coming first at the output side and most significant bit is this which is coming after third clock onto the output side so this data will be completely reaching at the output of the uh, this flip flop after four clocks so this is parallel in serial out shift register with asynchronous loading thank you